Welcome back. In this video, we're going to try to prove that if we are given x and y, real numbers, we want to prove that the absolute value of the difference of the absolute value of x and y is less than the absolute value of the difference of x and y. So this is quite useful in the theory when we have to prove many properties of the limits or dealing with differential equations. Sometimes we need to have a lower bound, an upper bound. We need to have this one in mind. This is a crucial property that one needs to have with him. This is a very nice tool when dealing with these properties. We're going to use some elementary proof using the basic properties of the absolute value to get through here. So remember that given any number, the absolute value of x is bigger than zero. And one key idea that we're going to use here is that if the absolute value of x is less than a, this is the same thing as saying that x is between minus a and a. Okay? We can do this one. We can do very nice graph. So the this is the, the function y equals the absolute value of x so when this one is less than a so this is my function this is a graphical proof okay so this is my y is a so the absolute value is less than a so when x is in here when x is in this interval and that means x in here okay so because in this case here x is between minus a and a okay so if we see here so the absolute value is less than a when x is between these two values a and minus a because at this moment x is a so this is a graphical uh, meaning of this result here and this result Okay, this means that the absolute value of x is under the graph of the function y equals a. This one means that x is between minus a and a. So that's the solution. Now we're going to try to find this one here. We're going to use this idea here. Okay, so uh, the first thing that we need to do is, since we're going to work with this double, double, absolute value we're going to use this double absolute value okay so in this case uh, uh, the absolute value of x is between minus x and x okay the same thing for the absolute value of y it's between minus y and y now this one if we multiply by a minus sign we're going to have minus y is between y and minus y. Okay, now we add this one, 1 and 2. Adding these ones, we get the absolute value of x minus the absolute value of y. On the left side, we're going to get minus x plus y. On the right side, I get x minus y. Here, I'm going to write this one as minus x minus y. And here, I'm going to write x minus y is less than x minus y okay now i need to remember my property here this one here these two are the same okay so assume that this is my x big x okay and this is our a so if we think of this one as big x and this is big a so here so if we want to pass to this one so I get the absolute value of x is less than, I, I can pass to the absolute value of a, because it's bigger than that. Okay? So that means this one is less than x minus y. Okay, but I, since I need to have 
this one because I don't know this one is positive or negative. So I need to have this one in absolute value as well. Okay, therefore I have because this number here is positive, we assume that it's positive because it's bigger than absolute value. So therefore I have my x is just the absolute value of x minus the absolute value of y is less than x minus y. And this gives me the result that I need. Okay, the only thing that we have to do here is to make sure that this is a positive one. When we to make it positive, one to the absolute value, we need to have the absolute value because by assumption here, our a is positive. That's the only missing part that we have to add here to make this one work. So this proves that our result is true in this case. We can do more than this. Okay, we can do it in a, a similar fashion using the triangular inequality. And prove this result but I think this is enough if you see all the steps this proves the required result